Hello everyone, welcome to Tuesday's Maths Session. Today we're going to have a go at converting pounds and pence. But before we start, let's go and see and celebrate some fantastic mathematicians over the last week. And let's go and do a quick starter too, to warm our brains up. A massive well done to 3H who are running top at the Battle of TT Rockstars. I'm going to put the class a family dojo point for working as a team. Great job 3H. Let's look at the top three in each class for numbots. In 3C, well done to Kaylee, Millie and Tamara. In 3H, Oscar DA, Ethan and Ronnie. In 3P, we've got Jacob, Zach and Matthew. And in 3B, we've got Flo, Abby and Lily. I'll be putting dojo points up for your hard work. This is our starter game, so you're going to need to be up on your feet. We're going to play ping pong, so you're going to need to imagine you've got a bat in your hand. I'm going to bat a number to you, and I'd like you to bat back to me as a number with 10 more. You can change this game, you can make it 10 less, you could say halving the number, doubling the number, but I'd like you to bat back the number which is 10 more. We'll start first of all, so if I say ping, you say pong. If I say zing, you say zong. 27. Well done, you batted back 37. Are you ready? 153. Excellent, you batted back 163. Listening carefully, you ready? 10 more. 83. 93, well done. 226. 236, well done. Ping pong is a game that you can play with somebody at home. You can change the rules. Think carefully about who you could play with today or over the weekend. This is our checkpoint. Number bonds to 100 are going to help us today. Can you have a go at completing the part whole models? Pause the video. How did you get on? We can see 50 add 50 makes 100. 50 add 20 add 30 makes 100. And 50 add 45 add 5 makes 100 too. Now we know one pound is the same as 100 pence. Let's see if we can work out what one pound is in each set. Let's look at number A. How many 50p's make a pound? That's right, two do. How many 20p's should we circle to make a pound? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 100 pence equals a pound. We should have circled five 20 p's. Number C, we start at 50 pence. Let's count on. 50 pence, 60 pence, 70 pence, 80 pence, 100 pence. So we're going to circle one 50p and four 10 p's. Let's look at D. It starts at 20p. Let's count together. 20p, 40p, 60p. Ah, now it's going to tens. 70p, 80p, 90p, 100p. 100 pence is the same as a pound. Today we're going to have a go at converting pounds to pence and pence to pounds. Sometimes we can write things in a different way and they mean the same thing. So I, that's why I've got my equal sign. Okay, it means it's the same as. So over here, I've got one pound. So I know a pound is the same as 100 pence. So if I had 100 of these, it would be worth the same as my pound. So if one pound is worth 100 pence, hmm, what do you think two pound is worth? That's right, it's worth 200 pence. Hmm, maybe you're seeing a bit of a pattern here. So we've got two pound and a pound, so we've got three pound there all together. So three pound, what's that worth? That's right, it's worth 300 pence. And then if we have a look at our next one, we've got four pounds. So if I write that here, I could put four pound there. There's my four pounds. And it's equal to, it's the same as 400 pence. So why do you think we have different coins if they're worth the same? Hmm. Well, imagine if I went into the shop and I wanted to buy an item for four pounds, but they didn't have a two pound coins or any one pound coins. I just went in with 400 pennies. Mm, that wouldn't be practical to carry around, would it? So that's why we have different coins so that we can pay different amounts easily. 
So if we look at our pattern, you'll see I've put an equal sign. What do you think is going to come next in our pattern? That's right. We're going to have five pounds here, which is going to be the same as, that's right, 500 pence. Mm. Right, I'm going to change the pattern this time. So it's not going to follow the pattern. See if you can work out what it should be. I'm going to put 900 pence here. What is 900 pence? The same as. That's right. It's the same as nine pounds. Because if I know one pound equals 100 pence, I know 900 pence equals nine pounds. I can see patterns and I'm using what I know to help me. Right, the question's got slightly harder this time. So let's have a good look carefully. So you can see I've got my coins on the board and I've written out what I've got. I've got one pound and I've got 50p because I've got two 20s and a 10 to make my 50. So now I want to think about how many pennies I've got all together. Thinking about my known fact, 100 pennies makes a pound. So I actually know that if this is 100 pence here and I've got 50p over here, I could also write this, so I'm going to put my equal sign, as 150 pence. 150 pence. For Chile 3, some of you are going to write this with a decimal point. I'm going to show you what I mean. I can also write this as one pound fifty. And because I've got my pound sign, I don't need my pence sign. This little dot here isn't a full stop. It's called a decimal point and it shows a uh, part of a whole. So my pound is my whole and 50p is part of it. It hasn't got to the next hole. The next hole would be two pound. I've got one pound as a whole and 50p, one pound 50. Okay, let's have a go at this one down here together. So again, I've got my coins, two pound, 25, two pound and 25 pence. So first of all, let's have a go at writing it with just my pence. Mm, let's think about what we know. Two pound, what's two pounds worth in pence? That's right, it's worth 200 pence. So I'll just make a little jotting there to help me. Then I can see that I've got my 25 pence here. So 200 add 25 is 225p. Oh, let me move the camera so you can see it carefully. There you go. I'm also going to write it with a decimal point as well for chili three. So if I've got two pound and 25p, I have two pound, my decimal point and 25 pence. And I don't need my penny sign afterwards. This is my pence is part of my whole, £2.25. This time, let's have a go at going pence to pound. So we can see that I've got my pence here, I've got 138 pence. So again, I'm going to use what I know. I'm gonna put my hundreds, tens and ones above it, just to remind myself. Now, because there's a hundred here, this must mean that there must be a pound because I've got 100 pence as a pound. So I can see here that this is the same as one pound, and 38 pence. So I can write it as one pound and 38 pence. I can also write it with my decimal point, which Chili 3 is going to do today. So I'm going to write it as one pound, decimal point, 38. Do you think you can pause the video and have a go at the next one by yourself? And we'll come back and check it. How did you get on? Let's have a look together. So £2.69 is the same as £2.69. pence. We can also write that as £2.69. Whilst you were doing the second one, I had a go at the third one, but I'm really not sure about it. So can we check it together? 302 pence is the same as £3.20. and pence. Oh, that doesn't sound right. 302 pence is the same as £3.20 and £3.20. Have I done that correctly? I haven't, have I? What mistake have I made? Ah, I've got muddled between my tens and my ones here. It's only 2p, it wasn't 20p. So I need to change this. I'll take that zero out there. So 302 pence is the same as £3.2p and 
And then I need to have a look at this one here. Three pound and, oh, I think I know, three pound and two. Hmm, doesn't look right, does it? That's because when we have a decimal point, we must have, when we're looking at money, two digits after the decimal point. So I need to put zero because there uh, were no uh, tens and two. So I put zero and two there. For Chili One today, I'd like you to think back to the lesson earlier and have a go at circling the amount of coins to make a pound. You might need to count in your 50s, your 20s and 10 pences. Your challenge then is to have a go at matching up the right amounts together, converting pounds and pence. For Chili 2 today, I'd like you to have a go at converting between pounds and pence. You can either print off the worksheet from Parrot Mail or you can have a go at pausing the screen and writing them in your book. Think carefully, remember 100 pence is the same as a pound. For your challenge today, you will see that I can make a pound using one coin, two coins and three coins. I wonder if you can make a pound using four coins, five coins, six coins. Hmm, I wonder if you notice a pattern. Have a go. For Chili 3 today, I'd like you to have a go at writing the amount in pounds and pence and in pounds using the decimal point that we've discussed in the lesson today. Your challenge, true or false. And then you'll now try this activity. Have a go. Right, it's our check time. Get yourself a pen to mark your work. Pause the screen so you can mark your work carefully. I wonder how you've got on today.